What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back. So today we have a new trailer for Birds of Prey. Actually, the, offic the, the official name of this film is Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. No idea why that's how why they decided to, to go with that title, but I'm assuming it's uh, to kind of give us a glimpse of what the movie's going to be about, which is Harley Quinn. <laughs> All of the promotional material has been about Harley Quinn. Uh, Margot Robbie is the biggest star in the film besides Ewan McGregor. So pretty sure this film is going to be Harley Quinn-esque, Harley Quinn-centric. But that's okay. Um, because you can never really get enough of Harley Quinn. Uh, a, lot of, a lot is riding on Birds of Prey, mostly because DC is still trying to prove itself. Now, while it does have the, the Joker, which at this time has not come out in theaters yet... Uh, so the audiences haven't been able to see it, and uh, we don't know if we're going to agree with, with the critics who are calling it a masterpiece or if we're going to reject that that film. A lot of uh, controversy surrounding that 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 film and its message. Um, but, um, I mean, besides that and maybe Wonder Woman, DC, the DC Universe hasn't had a lot of wins. So, you know, a lot is resting on this movie to kind of, you know, show that DC is turning over a new leaf and trying to fix their previous misfires and kind of, you know, move forward with with some hits. So we'll see if Birds of Prey is that is that film. But for now, all we have is, is a trailer. So let's go ahead and watch this trailer and see what Birds of Prey and that and the rest <laughs> has to offer. Let's go ahead and check this out. You know what a Harlequin is? A Harlequin's role is to serve. Nothing without a master. No one gives two shits who we are beyond that. The Joker and I broke up. I wanted a fresh start. But it turns out I wasn't the only thing without them looking for emancipation. All right, that was a good trailer. This is actually really good. Um, but you know, you just can't trust Warner Bros. because they always have great trailers. Remember Suicide Squad? They they had two really great trailers. It even made Jared Leto's Joker seem like he was actually going to be something pretty interesting. Like, this is going to be an interesting take on this character. And me personally, I just felt like Jared Leto was probably the worst Joker I've ever seen adapted to uh, screen. Um, and that film overall was just not that great. Besides Margot Robbie um, and Will Smith, there was really nothing else going for that movie. Uh, and the same goes for a lot of their other films that have really great trailers, but the films just don't seem to stand up. They just don't, they just don't pay off in, in the end. So this was good. This was a really great trailer. Margot Robbie, 
seems like she's actually gotten better with the character since we first saw her. Uh, one of my main gripes with Margot Robbie specifically was that she seemed like she was a perfect casting choice for the for the character, but I feel like whoever wrote the the film or directed it kind of sent her in a different direction. And while she seems largely the same, you know, there there are little things that that she switched up a little bit. You know, she does seem a little bit more silly like like Harley Quinn usually is. Uh, I heard her throw around the Mr. J. Uh, so that was really, really cool. Um, so, you know, that I, I'm liking that. I'm liking the vibes coming from, from Margot and, and her Harley Quinn. One thing I didn't like about this trailer is that they don't really seem to focus on the birds of trace birds of prey so to speak uh they just seem to be focusing on margot robbie and her harley quinn uh and I, i'm sure that she's the star of the film and that's fine and we got a few glimpses of uh, ewan mcgregor's uh black mask without the mask so i'm not sure if he's still black mask or what's what's going on there uh but you know they they didn't really show any anyone else in this trailer we got a few glimpses of them but this was mainly harley quinn's trailer i'm hoping that in the next trailer the the next inevitable trailer we 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 get a better view of the team who she's who she's going to be working with uh because we know that the movie is going to be about them against black mask so you know we let let's get a better picture of you know who she's going to be around who this ragtag team of people are uh before the movie comes out okay otherwise this could have just been called harley quinn or something you know um but overall it was very entertaining i mean it looks like it's it's action-packed the cinematography is actually really really good it doesn't look cheap um i did see a few gifs uh a few days ago and the posters and everything haven't really looked all that great but you know this movie actually looks like it might be quality <laughs> quality finally from warner bros uh let's see if we can uh let's see if we can keep that that up uh you know by the time the film comes out. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with what I saw here. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, she's just great in everything. I'm really happy that she's in this film. Uh, not familiar with the rest of the cast here, but I mean, they all look like they're, they're doing their job. Uh, I'm just interested to see more and find out more what did you guys think of this trailer? Are you excited for Birds of Prey? What do you think of Margot Robbie's performance here as Harley Quinn? What do you think of the maskless black mask? <laughs> and uh, also, what do you think the story is going to be here? It seems like Harley Quinn has broken up with the with the Joker. Uh, is that going to be like her, you know, like the main thing going on with her? Uh, is that why they're calling it the Emancipation because she's free of the Joker? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button, and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay dope.